Brown sugar is healthier, or not as bad. Not as bad for you, yeah. I think. You <laughs> would say it's, it's bad, but not as bad. So yeah. yeah, that's what I would have. Are you a health nut? Am I a health nut? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a health nut, but I absolutely believe in doing some sort of physical exercise or movement uh -huh. every day. So what kind of physical exercise or movements do you like to do? So traditional day, like if you know, like if I'm on holidays, then it goes out the window a little. Mm -hmm. Sort of the eighty twenty rule. Right yeah, yeah, like right now, exactly. Uh, but generally, I will try to do some boxing four or five days a week. Mm, awesome. Wait, sparring or in the gym? Uh, in the gym, do sparring maybe once or twice a week. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, uh, with mixed results, uh -huh. uh, but that's fun. Uh, and then I try to do some body weight exercise probably three times a week. Okay. Yeah, I just think there's a huge connection between uh, you know, being healthy, moving, dynamic movements, yeah. and you know, intricate movements like dance, boxing, uh, and mental health, uh, learning, um, just staying sharp. So mm -hmm. that's, I, don't, I used to do it for body beautiful, uh, but now I do it more for the cognitive benefits. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. And you're keeping it together cognitively? I believe so, Stephen. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Not no. my name. <laughs> so, Not my name. Yeah, and I mean, you work out, clearly. I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bang. What do um, you do? Uh, I, like, I like the weights. I do yep. the weights and um, a little bit of running, cycling, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, walking. I mean, when Ooh, I can, good. I walk as much as possible. It's a little harder. Uh, where I'm based now, sort of away from, you know, everyone's driving around in a car and walking isn't as... Uh, Is it outlawed? It's legal. Okay. But, <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, just not as common. It's just not as convenient. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Hmm. Not the best way to get around, uh, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, not the most convenient way to get around. Sure. Uh, I should introduce you before we carry on too far. And, yes. Uh, I should introduce the podcast. So... Hey everybody, I am Jim Schneider and this is my podcast, Work in Progress, where I talk to my friends about the work they do and why they do it, some of the challenges they face at yeah. work, the lessons they learn from it, and so on. And I'm uh, very excited to be joined today by Joshua Wedlock. Uh, right, thanks for having me. Friend of mine for a couple of years. Thank you for being here, sir. Uh, and we're both on holiday in Vienna, we are Austria at the moment. <laughs> and I, I like how we go go out last night to a great, great wedding, mm -hmm. and a little tired today. A little bit. Let's yeah. that's, that's do an interview today. So yeah. we're going to try to be upbeat, <laughs> but that's why we've got the coffee. Yes. So let's cheers again to our wedded friend. Our, I believe so. Our newlyweds, uh, friends that we're visiting here in, in Austria. To them. To our, to our friends. Um, so Josh, can you tell our audience what you do? What's your job? Yeah, so currently I am completing a PhD and I look at a couple of things. One which uh, people find, usually find quite interesting. So I look at swearing in a second language. No uh, shit. Yeah, no oh, shit, wow. exactly. So how people process it, whether they do it at the, um, the pragmatic level, uh -huh. so taking in context and whatnot, or whether it's just done on a word based level. So I look at that. And the other thing I look at uh, with a different professor is how people learn quickly. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of research and study into expedited learning. Oh, cool. So what's yeah. the fastest way to learn? Um, depending on what you're learning, but I'm a big believer in there's a few concepts which I think uh, all educators should know, but also parents and people like yourself who just like love learning. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's deliberate practice, which was uh, sort of coined by Ericsson. Uh, and it's, it sort of says, it's not like Gladwell said, it's the 10,000 hour rule. Yeah, right. Uh, it's a little bit, it's, it's so like 11,000. It is, no, it's, it, Gladwell <laughs> sort of simplified it too much. Uh -huh. So we look at the amount of effort, intensity, and um, yeah, sort of how much effort you're making to learn. That's number one. 
And I also look at things like flow. So getting into your zone, like mm -hmm. not being disrupted, you know, going, like trying to overcome the challenge and this sort of thing. So, I mean, there's a lot to go into. Like I've been studying it for many years now, mm -hmm. but if you are at home and you're interested in like, how can I learn? Look up deliberate practice flow. Um, but then the, the main thing I'd also say is make sure you've got a really solid base in the fundamentals of what it is and build on, build on, build on, build on. Don't try to go from here to here. Mm -hmm. Just slower is faster is mm -hmm. what I tell my students. Slower is faster because we get a strong domain knowledge, then we can build. So mm -hmm. uh, that's five, six years of research in five minutes. So <laughs> thanks. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the uh, intuition free. Yeah, no, exactly. Uh, yeah. So don't cut any corners. Yes. Uh, and quality and effort is it, it trumps it trumps duration so yeah. you know especially as adults yeah we need to really focus in. yes yes we do really focus uh, I was telling you the story today where I went out to get some some snacks for us mm -hmm. because what was happening is I was just walking with with the mm, team right. here and I was just tagging along because you knew the area mm -hmm. I had no idea where we were but today when I did it myself I had to focus in on the landmarks. I walked past those landmarks three or four days in a row mm -hmm. and didn't think of it. And then today I was like, I have to learn this. Focus is key. Yeah. So that's for sure. That's another little tidbit for you. But yeah. I'm charging you for that one. Or for that tidbit? Yeah. yeah that, okay. that well, you keep a tally of all the tidbits. <laughs> I definitely will. I'll pay you at the end uh, off camera. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So you are a PhD student and it, um, learning about learning. Yes. Uh, and you've also been a teacher. I have right? been a teacher. And are you also currently teaching now? So I run my own uh, English school, mm -hmm. but I also do consulting for, it's mainly for parents and their children. Mm -hmm. So I'll sit down with them, uh, various sessions, a few sessions, and help them understand how to learn because you're in education. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you found this, but people study that doesn't mean they're learning. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a big difference. Like you can go to the gym and you can exercise or you can train. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I prefer to just look at my phone, you know, <laughs> I think that's talks. what most people <laughs> prefer to do nowadays. <laughs> so that's how I look at it. I, you, you can study. Uh -huh. That doesn't mean you're learning. Right. So I try to teach them how to learn. And then that's teaching them how to study effectively. Mm -hmm. So that's the second part of my what I do. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, and as well as my work at the University of Sydney and whatnot, mm -hmm. where I do some tutoring there. So Sydney, you say? Yes, yes. We've got an Australian here, folks. Yeah, the accent doesn't give me away though. <laughs> do I? Th do you think I have an Australian accent? Uh, I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I can tell. Yeah, okay. You at times, at, I think that's yeah. what it is. But not all the time. Yeah, because. Like, I'm in Korea, based in Korea, uh -huh. around a lot of uh, internationals, mainly Americans. Uh -huh. So my accent's changed a little. A little more Americanized? I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, my friends always mo mock me and joke at me, so <laughs> I, I believe it has Your changed. Your Australian friends? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, where, where are you from? Yeah. So, yeah. Hmm. Who is this Yankee? Where did this Yankee come from? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. Uh, well, I notice in, yeah, because I've, I've seen some of your, you know, instructional videos mm. I guess, and, and sometimes uh, I have noticed that you, you do sound more American in those some of those videos yeah I think it's when I'm enunciating more mm -hmm. I think that comes from being a teacher with second language learners mm -hmm. I really try to make sure uh, so I think then I've just it's become ingrained I, I don't know uh, but I think so Mm -hmm. But you've watched some of them? Well, I'm honored. Well, no one it. watches my stuff. <laughs> on, uh, on Instagram. Yeah. You've got okay. a couple of Instagram pages. Yeah, yeah. I've got my YouTube uh, channel as well for any yeah. teachers out there. Right. Yeah. I'm going to plug it right now. Yeah, Go ahead. Without, Go for it. I wasn't even going to ask permission. <laughs> uh, so any teachers out there, it's uh, joshesl.com. It's not just for language teachers. I do go into the science of, of learning and whatnot. Uh -huh. um, so, yeah. I'll Better. drop a link. Yeah, please do. Hello. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, so joshesl.com or joshesl is your YouTube yes. channel, yes. right? And then joshesl.com is your website, of course. Exactly. And then, 
Uh, do you have other websites, other YouTube channels? for Because uh, you have a couple of different... Yeah, I've got a couple of little things ventures. there. So uh, for, for adults uh, in Korea, uh, learning English, mm -hmm. westercafe.com. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's where we, we really specialize on helping uh, adult students, especially with high stakes tests. Like, uh, so a lot of countries you need, if you're going to study overseas, if you're going to study an English speaking environment, mm -hmm. you need a, a, a test, like a certification. Yeah. So we use science-based uh, approaches to learning and help uh, our students achieve the results they need. Uh, without hacks, we don't believe in cheating, I don't think that's learning. Mm -hmm. uh, hack, I think for me, is a bit of a dirty word. Mm -hmm. um, so all these like YouTube hacks, mm -hmm. okay, for cooking or something, but if you're out there, can, I'm just going to address the audience. Yeah, go for it. If you're out there Pay looking attention, for folks. a hack, okay, as I said, often slower is faster. Okay, if it's hard to, if it's a little bit harder to learn, you have to put in more cognitive effort, there's a better chance you're going to retain it. So a hack is great if you just need to pass a test, mm -hmm. but what, what we do is we say, okay, you want to pass the test, but you also want to retain this knowledge. Right. That's what learning is. Mm -hmm. So that's what we, we focus on. And then uh, with my kids, we're about to launch Get Results English. Mm -hmm. So that's where we work with uh, yeah, eight to 13 year old kids mm -hmm. and help them. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. And you work, uh, or you, you teach mainly Korean students, is that right? Yes, okay. yes. So, and we, of course, we know each other because uh, I, I don't think we ever lived in Korea at the same time. No, we didn't. But uh, we've got, we have both spent time living and working in Korea, and so we have mutual friends there. Yep. And we were introduced by our friend who just got married uh, this week here mm. in, in Vienna. Um, but what took you to Korea in the first place? When and um, how did you end up there? Yeah, so I went there, I think it was 2012. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so I, we did live there at the same time. Yes, but we didn't know each other. Right. right. Um, so I lived there, I went there to teach, uh, really enjoyed the teaching because before that I was in health and fitness. Mm -hmm. I was in health and fitness for 10 years and I saw a um, sort of a relationship between exercising, teaching, you know, fitness, mm -hmm. indoor cycling classes, etc., and education. Mm -hmm. So I went there, thought I'd try this teaching thing out, really enjoyed teaching. Then I started to do more research and more study because it was, to me, it was fascinating mm -hmm. watching someone learn. And I sometimes I get happier than my students. Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember that they couldn't do that last week yeah. or two weeks. So uh, then I stayed just because I really enjoyed what I did. Uh -huh. So then I was there until uh, 2019. Did you go to Seoul right away? Was it the first? I was in Seoul, it? yes. Uh -huh. I was there for yeah, six or seven years before uh -huh. I, I left for a couple of years. Uh -huh. Uh, to start the PhD, mm -hmm. and then I returned uh, to take a job there, um, teaching teachers and also teaching. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so I'm still there, still there. So did you start your, you were in health and fitness before, Yeah, a health and fitness coach. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then a teacher, so you've worked in education or, you know, training, coaching for a what, 20 years? Yeah. 20 plus years? Yeah, if I put it both together, mm -hmm. we're looking at 20 years. Uh, how did you start wow. your... Wow, 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a long time. You've done well with that. Yeah, know? yeah. Um, wh how did you start your professional career? What was your very first job? Oh, my first real job or my first like little hustle as a kid? What was your first hustle? What was your just very first job? Okay. Uh, I can't remember how old I was, but, but the very, very first, we, we had, uh, I can't remember which town I was in, but we had a supermarket, mm -hmm. and I was maybe seven, and I would go up to people and ask them mm -hmm. if I could push their trolley uh -huh. to the car for them. And I would always target, you know, um, elderly people or uh -huh. people with children. Uh -huh. And because I was a little seven-year-old kid, a lot of people would say yes. Yeah. And then they give me like 20 cents mm -hmm. or something. And so that was my first sort of hustle. And I would do that. And this didn't break any child labor laws? Probably actually. several. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't forced to do it. Okay. And okay, good. Um, 
I think people just thought it was cute. Yeah. So um, that was my very first little job, and I'd always get this handful of coins <laughs> right. and go and buy something I wanted with it, usually candy. Yeah, right, bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Um, was this your idea, or did somebody yeah. push you? No, oh. I just sort of thought this could be a lucrative little thing. Yeah. And I only had a I only had a window of one year. <laughs> so I thought I'm at that eight years old mark, you're just not cute enough. Anymore, you're right? over the hill. <laughs> right. So that was my window. Okay. So yeah. Well that's impressive. I did not know that about you. Yeah, I know a lot of people a lot of people don't. Because I mean it doesn't really come up. Because when people say your first job, that's right. why I wanted to clarify did you mean first job or first little did you have a little little hustle when you were a kid washing um, cars or something? I washed. I mean, I would do certain chores around the mm. house, mm. you know. So washing the car, cutting the grass, and and whatever. But I I don't think I was as uh, entrepreneurial as as you. Yeah, um, and you've missed the boat on that. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Way, way too late for us. I'm not going to be pushing anyone's cart. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably AI now anyway. So yeah, well, will, yeah. They will be own. soon. Yeah, no, yeah. exactly. Um, okay. So uh, what? what's your window like for your PhD? When do you think you'll become Ooh. a doctor? Uh, when I become... It's just... So when I become a doctor, you will have to call me doctor. Mm -hmm. doctor and I love Dr. Josh, but everyone else can just call me <laughs> just Josh. Yeah. Um, I hope to submit. I already do call you doctor. That's true, actually. From, from time to time. Yeah. It's true. Um, one of my friends, when I got in, started calling me professor from that day and has not stopped. <laughs> and he's like, how you doing, professor? How's yeah. the nerding going? Yeah, right. <laughs> Nerding's going well. Yeah. Um, I hope to submit by December. Oh, okay, so awesome. It's, it's imminent. This year, so you'll, yeah, mm. imminent doctorhood yeah. coming your way. No, exactly. Uh, and then what are your plans after, uh, you know? After you have degree? to call me doctor? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then what else? Um, good question. I really like helping people learn. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to really work on doing that. But I'm also working with another person at the moment, Aidan McCarthy. We, we do some work about exercise in the brain mm -hmm. because as I said like you know dynamic movements intricate movements this sort of thing and looking at the impact that has on our cognitive function and our you know mental health mm -hmm. this sort of stuff so we're, we're actually meeting in London he's doing a conference there at the moment um, tomorrow mm -hmm. um, to put together a couple of seminars we run seminars in Australia on that so I want to do a little bit more of that I, I just really want to get into a space and keep moving my space into helping people understand how to learn mm -hmm. so their investment of time I mean I know you've learned is it Mandarin to quite a high level yeah but I'm also rapidly forgetting it at uh, quite a fast yeah <laughs> fast use rate. it or lose it so uh, yeah I but I think with some uh, you know with a little review I could get back to a uh, Intermediate. I, I'm still probably in an intermediate level. Yeah, but no, exactly. I just haven't had a chance to. Use but you put in the effort. Oh, for sure. And I think like what you were saying about learning the fundamentals. You know, the fundamentals are still there, but mm. I'm forgetting the higher level vocab and. Yeah, but now you've got the fundamentals. You can re, you can build, and it'll reinforce yeah. and come back. So that's what you know. That's so that's the space I want to get into, and mm. and really helping people um, understand how we learn, so students can study less, learn more, mm -hmm. and then go out and play, have some fun and you know, look after your mental health and that sort of stuff. Because mm -hmm. I think that's, that's, that's hugely important mm -hmm. for learning as well. Yeah. If you're in a good mental space, then you can learn. So mm -hmm. you know, getting that um, emotional connection as well with students and enjoying learning. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, that's, that's the goal. So would, ideally, would you work for a university or continue to work as a consultant or on your, on your own? Or? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question. And I think I'd like to do a lot of it uh, on my own because if you, and this isn't a dig at any university or anything like that, because I, I can work at a university and we have a great program. But if you look at a lot of these how to study books, they're missing a lot of things. They're missing things like, you know, it's like, uh, what you should know if, if you're studying at university. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing there about you know, your peer group, 
the benefits of exercise, the mm -hmm. benefits of routine. Mm -hmm. It's all study methods. Mm -hmm. And th that's important, but if you're around the wrong peer group, if you're not exercising, if you're not taking care of your mental health, mm -hmm. if you're not, you know, if you haven't got the ability to speak to your professor if you're struggling because you're nervous or you're shy or you think they're going to think you're an idiot, mm -hmm. then I think there's, there's something lacking there. And if universities haven't already got onto that, then I also think that's a problem. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'd like to work in universities, um, very forward thinking universities, uh, which I'm lucky at the moment I'm at. Mm -hmm. um, but that's why I'd like to also do it for myself because um, you know, a lot of universities just don't do it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's something which I want to do just because like, that's something I believe in. Mm -hmm. And I've seen the results. So. Yeah. You know, people talk about work-life balance, but there must also be like a, a study-life balance oh, too, right? With the absolutely. social dynamic and yeah. the exercise and so on. Yeah. Because um, so people talk about burnout when they're studying, yeah, but then yeah. you look at it, it's like you, you're just studying. Mm -hmm. you, like it's okay to hang out with your friends. Like I've been, like I'm meant to be writing papers now and, mm -hmm. and whatever, but we hang out and then you saw me this morning writing papers and mm -hmm. you got to balance it. So absolutely. this is where... I think this all relates to how we learn. So that's that's what I'm, yeah. I mean, you said it's only a 30 minute podcast. I could talk about this for hours. Mm -hmm. so just stop me anytime you need. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, that's it. Good, yeah. okay, <laughs> Thank, thanks everyone. Uh, well, I do wanna ask you, um, what's your knowledge like regarding Canada? What do you know about Canada? Canada, okay. Um, I haven't covered it in the PhD, mm -hmm. uh, but I know it's, I'm going to say it's North America, big. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe Newfoundland is in the east. Um, what else do I know? That would be about it. It's, it's above America, but also below America, because I think Alaska is above Canada. Oh, okay. Um, <coughs> Vancouver? Is one side, I believe. All right. Sounds like your your Canadian knowledge is, is pretty extensive. Or how just my <laughs> my ability to to picture a map is pretty <laughs> extensive. So yeah. Uh, how how confident are you uh, that you can answer some Canadian trivia questions correctly? Oh, well, you just saw my knowledge. I'm I'm pretty confident All right, that I'm going to get a lot wrong. But let's see how we go. <laughs> let's put you to the test. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Canada, you say? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm nervous. <laughs> don't be nervous, don't worry. Uh, question one, how many prime ministers has Canada had? How many prime ministers Canada had? Are you, okay, this is, I think this is a trick question. Are you talking, like, does the current president count? You, we can include the current prime minister. Yeah. Okay, then it's, this one's actually easy for me. This is a bit of a mnemonic for me. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael Jordan, my favorite basketball player, was 23. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say 23. You are correct. There you go. But eventually you'll have to, you know, find a new mnemonic device or because... Oh, no, and this is the only time I'm going to be talking about right. Canada. If anyone else in the future asks me, <laughs> yeah. I say, look, I don't discuss Canada. Oh, okay. <laughs> so but for my segment only. Okay, yeah. so we I've have an exclusive here. Uh, okay, great. Yeah, 23 persons have served as Prime Minister of Canada since the office came into existence in 1867. So you are correct. Wow. 23, including the current Prime Minister. Okay. Question two, who was the first Prime Minister of Canada? The first. Okay, that's easy. Ish. Not as easy. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was John A. MacDonald, but I think it was Sir John A. MacDonald. Correct. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. I, would, I would award you the point whether or not you included the Sir. Yeah. yeah. A lot, not, not a lot of people are as generous as you are. <laughs> like, if that was a real game show for a million dollars, there's no way they're giving me that. Uh, well, two for two so far. Mm -hmm. You're on a roll. 
Uh, who was the second Prime Minister of Canada? Okay. I know this one just because I am really smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why I know. Uh, it's the Honourable Alexander Mackenzie. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, no, yeah, just because it's McDonald Mackenzie. So uh -huh. I remember the Mac Mac. Ah, uh -huh, right. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> excellent. Three for three. But it's about to get a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. Question four. Who is the current Prime Minister of Canada? Do they have one? They do indeed. It's that Trudeau. Ju Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau Justin is Trudeau. correct. Yeah. And you were, I know you were just being sarcastic when no. you said, do they have one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, was I? Okay. Pressure's on now because... These aren't easy. This is question five. Mm -hmm. It's the final question. Mm -hmm. If you get it correct, it's a, you know, five out of five, 100% perfect score. If you miss it, well... Well, I'll, I'll probably just drop out of my PhD straight away. And you'll look like a fool, you know, in front of everyone on YouTube. Yeah. But I'm confident in you. Okay, Are hit you me. confident in yourself? Confidence is, is key. Okay. Well, here we go. Question five. What was the political office held by Pierre Trudeau, father of current Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau? What was Pierre Trudeau's political office? Okay. That, I know that mm -hmm. just because Justin Trudeau took after his father, he was also Prime Minister of Canada. Was, wasn't he? You are correct, my man. I love it. Nice job. Yeah. Five out of five. Thank you. Have you ever been to Canada? Where? Canada? The, the nation? No, no. I'd like to go. I know so much about it. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, I'd absolutely love to go. I've got some good friends up there. Um, I'm going in a, in a couple of weeks, actually. I'll be in Toronto. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I think... Look out for me in Canada, Toronto. Oh, it's good. You're going to be some interviews there as well? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, great, yeah. great. Um, yeah, I think it's... Um, yeah, I think it's a great place for me to go. Hmm. I have another friend who's getting married, so I'll be at his wedding. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, okay. In a couple oh, of weeks, yeah. You get to travel around the world, seeing all your international friends. Why, getting, yeah, watching my friends get married. Yeah. yeah. We just got to you know, find... Find your future wife while you're there. Who knows? She's out there somewhere. Well, let's hope. In Canada? I don't know. Who knows? Hopefully. Yeah. I love the place. Uh, all right. Well, I think that's all the time we have for tonight because we have dinner arrangements. We do indeed. Thanks, Thanks. for having me. I, I really, uh, I'm just going to say this t to the audience. Yeah, please. I really liked, I mean, I would have done it because you're my friend anyway, mm -hmm. but I really love the concept of because... Everyone's a work in progress. You're complimenting me and my show and the concept of my... I know, and I don't even get paid. Well, thank you so paid much. I just yeah. think it's a great concept. Everyone's a work in progress. And if anyone can get you know, just a little, a little nugget from any, like, all the people, because I know a couple of people you've interviewed, mm -hmm. just great, honest people who mm -hmm. are just, you know, not trying to sell you a book or anything, apart from my website. But mm -hmm. they're, they're free. So yeah. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for having me. It's been, been great fun. Do you want to share a nugget before we, before we uh, close out? For learning? Sure. Or yeah. for, yeah, learning. One uh, final nugget? One final nugget. Um, and of course it's a cliche, but you've got to embrace the mistakes. And if when you make a mistake, the key thing is you learn from your mistakes, but only if you action the feedback. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you get feedback from your coach, your teacher, your professor, your parents, your loved one, a buddy who knows a little bit more about you, you've got to action their feedback. So yeah. that's the key. You learn from your mistakes contingent on acting on the feedback. So that's my little final tidbit, All which right. is free for them, but you're going to pay for it. <laughs> I'll buy you a drink. Perfect. At, at uh, dinner. Um, all right. Well, thanks a lot, Josh. Thank really you. really appreciate the time. Um, pay attention to those nuggets, very useful nuggets. All right. And... Um, Done. How long was it? Uh, 25 minutes, probably something like that. Maybe 30. Let me yeah. check. I think maybe less. Maybe like 19. 30 minutes. Was it? Yeah.